Hi guys, welcome to Paper Code. Today we are going to solve an interesting problem called Paint House, which is recently very famous in all the interviews. So let's go to the problem statement. So there are n rows of houses we need to paint with red, blue, green. Cost of each painting is different. We have to paint all the houses such that no two adjacent houses have the same color. Minimum. Ultimately, we need to find out the minimum price to paint all the houses. So let us have a look of an example. So here we have one, two, three houses, and we have three colors: red, blue, green. So these are the different prices to paint each house. So let us take the paint to house number for house number one. If you see, one is the minimum one which we can take it. So one plus in second one we can't paint it with green, so we have to go with red or blue, which is seven is the minimum. So we'll go with seven. The third one which we are going with four, since we can paint with red or green, but since four is the minimum, we are going with four. We are going with twelve. So is there any other way where we can get the minimum? If you see, we can take two and six, which is giving the same cost. So ultimately, twelve is our minimum price. But every time we shouldn't choose the minimum one which is present in that particular house, because let us have a look of another example. If you see this example, if you choose two in the first house, we can't choose two in the second house, which will increase our cost. For example, here if you choose first house two, then you can't choose here because blue and blue are adjacent. So we need to choose five hundred or six hundred. Ultimately, we will choose five hundred plus we will choose three, which will become five not five, which is too high. Instead, we can take it seventeen two. And then hundred, which will reduce less than five hundred, right? So let us put this through code. Okay, let's go to the code. Today we are going to solve this problem using dynamic programming. Okay, uh, uh, before going through the code, I want to tell you how this logic is going to work. So since we are we are going to look back and then uh, manipulate the same matrix, at the end we will find out the minimum price. Since we are looking back, let's start with the second house, which is index one. So, if you assume we are going to paint with this color, so obviously it is not painted with this. So we have to take minimum one of these two, which is two. So we are going to add two to the one. Similarly, for the say, if it, we choose, if we assume that we are going to paint with this, which obviously this is not the one painted before. So one of them minimum, which is two, two we are going to add. Similarly, we are going to find all the uh, summations, all the prices for each house, each color. At the end, we will get the all the prices for each color of combinations. So ultimately, if we choose the minimum of the each row, minimum of the last row, we will get the minimum price. Okay, let's go through the code. So here, if we see first, this this method is accepting a cost in a matrix and then returning an a minimum price. So first condition we are checking whether costs are null and length is zero. If it is zero, the price will be zero. We are returning. Otherwise, we are going to iterate the cost matrix. So here, let us see. We are starting with one since, as we already told you, we are going to look back. So if we take the one, so if we are going to paint with the first one, which is zero to one, obviously the before one should be one of these two, minimum of these two. So we are going to take minimum of one and Two. Similarly, if we are going for one, we are going to take minimum of zero and two. For example, this one, we are going to take minimum of three or two. Similarly, if it is two, we are going to take minimum of zero and one. After each iteration, I will tell, I will show you how this matrix is going to look. For example, after first iteration, this matrix is going to look like this: three, six, two. Since we are not changing the first row, second row, we are going to change. One plus minimum one of six plus six or two minimum is two one plus two is three and then nine plus minimum of three or two two is minimum nine plus two eleven and then fifteen plus minimum of three or six fifty three is minimum it going to be eighteen so last row reminds us this after the one iteration next since this is the last iteration three six Oh, let me write it in some other place. Three, six, two, three, eleven, eighteen. So six plus minimum of three or eleven. Six, three is minimum. Going to be nine. 
टू प्लस थ्री और इलेवन इज टू प्लस थ्री और एटीन मिनिमम थ्री इज ए मिनिमम सो टू प्लस थ्री फाइव एंड देन एट एट मिनिमम ऑफ थ्री और इलेवन थ्री इज मिनिमम एट प्लस थ्री इलेवन सो मिनिमम ऑफ दीज थ्री वुड बी फाइव सो आवर आंसर इज फाइव सो इफ यू सी इफ वी चूज So here is the answer. So we we paint with the two, one and two. We also will get sum of five, which is our answer. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep supporting. Thanks.